Hey cats, what's happening? I love riding this time of year, the fall. The weather's kind of cool, it's good riding. The Evo runs like a top. And it's fun just to ride down these rural roads and watch the leaves blowing across the road and such. My topic for discussion today is gonna be the biker wallet chain. Uh, before I get started though, a little story goes way back. There was a uh, uh, rally or a, a weekend biker bash party thing that I went to years ago. It was called the Kamikaze. And it was way out in rural Ashland, south of here. Uh, probably about a 30-minute uh, ride to get there. And the guy had the, the uh, biker event on his property. He charged, uh, I don't know, $15, I think, to get in. And you could spend the night, set up your tent. Uh, the, it, the whole front of his property was, uh, there was a big lake there. And there was a, a dirt ramp, and the the the, the uh, best thing about the party was in the afternoons they would have the jumps where you could take your motorcycle, run down the hill, go off the jump, and land down in the middle of the uh, lake or the the pond in his in his front yard there. And hundreds of people would come there and camp everywhere. It drew a pretty good crowd. And then in the evenings they have these concerts. And they had a stage there with a couple of semi uh, flatbed trailers and and the band would play up there on the stage and everybody would stand around there was no seats or anything you just stand out in the yard and watch the show so i was standing there and i was in the crowd and uh as i was there watching the show probably an hour or so into it and just kind of partying with everybody and having fun this uh, little gal come up there and saddled up right next to me and, and she started really leaning on me pretty hard and uh, actually uh, I kind of got the message that she was flirting with me. Now I didn't know who this woman was, never saw her from Adam and the best I could figure was that she was pretty uh, high <laughs> or pretty drunk, one of the two. And maybe she didn't know who she was with. Maybe she thought I mistook me for somebody else. Because she was getting pretty cozy. It was about that time that I, I felt some tugging on my jeans. And I reached back and she had her hands on my wallet. And was trying to pull my, my wallet out of my back pocket. And I had my chain hooked up and everything. So it's almost like a... Uh, security alarm you know when somebody's yanking on your your chain you you can feel it and so uh, it didn't take long before I uh, turned around and gave her who would have it and uh, she took off running through the crowd she was obviously a pickpocket and trying to play on my uh, love strings or something like that and, and keep my attention away while she pu pulled my wallet out now she can get away with anything, uh, thank goodness. <laughs> uh, but thankfully I had my wallet chain hooked up and, and it all was well. So what's the history of the wallet chain? You see mine here, my keys, my chain. You might say, gee, it's, gee that's a pretty beefy chain. And it is. When you buy a biker wallet at these events, uh, you say you go to a... Uh, uh, swap meet or something like that somebody's always going to have a table where they're selling biker wallets and they already have a chain hooked to them some of these can be pretty cheesy uh, it, it you may have to shop around to find a decent biker wallet a nice heavy leather one and worse yet to find a, a decent chain to go with it because the chains that come with these biker wallets are so weak and and frail i mean you could you could like pull them apart with your bare hands and they got those little spring clips like on the end which you know don't hold up to anything you know i some of you guys might have said uh, gee it's gee, your wallet chain looks pretty beefy and it really is um i had bought my biker wallet many many years ago and it came with a little flimsy 
steel chain uh, it, that you could have like pulled apart with your hands and then it had these little springy clip things on the end that were just worthless uh, so those came off right away <clears throat> I went to the hardware store I bought this beefier uh, almost like dog chain heavy heavy chain and I just kind of fabricated my own wallet chain I have this leather belt loop thing here and I also have a, a key fob thing attached to it I can easily take my keys on and off with this particular thumb thing now attached to that is my chain and I have one of these threaded uh, chain link things that I can take on and off easy enough but I put it on there and if I screw it up real tight uh, nobody's really somebody's really gonna have a hard time fiddling with it uh, without you knowing about it so that's kind of a semi-permanent connection to my belt and to my wallet chain On the other end of my wallet is my wallet and then I have one of these clips which I'm not entirely happy with. But you'll see the grommet on the end of my wallet there, the little brass grommet is very small and I haven't found anything to fit through there so actually what I'm going to have to end up doing is replacing that grommet, making the hole a little bit bigger, putting a little bigger of a grommet on there so that uh, I can put something heavier through there. You see this is just too thick, it doesn't even fit through that small hole. Now, part of the history of the wallet chain, believe it or not, some of the 1% uh, clubs, <clears throat> and this may be a secret that uh, isn't really out there to the public, but they used them as a weapon. Now my chain is heavy enough that if I unclipped it and just swung it around, I mean that thing could really put some hurting on somebody really bad. Uh, and that's what they had used them for in some of the biker battles in history of 1% clubs. Now other than that, it's just kind of been a style thing for bikers. A lot of old school bikers wear them, and I don't know about the younger uh, guys on the uh, sport bikes, if they're still wearing them or not. I haven't really seen it. But also, the, some of the uh, punk movement, uh, you know, the guys with the black hair and the eyeshadow and everything, they like to wear the biker chains just as a style thing. I've seen all kinds of them. I've seen some real fancy biker chains uh, that probably cost a little bit of money. Uh, cool if you're into a, to a neat style and spending some cash. Uh, me, I just go for the dog chain at the hardware store. Grab a couple feet of that and I'm good to go. Uh, I've seen one here that's made out of a motorcycle drive chain. That would be a little heavy duty and kind of styling if you're a biker. Uh, this guy here has two chains uh, going to his wallet and this cat here has three chains going to his wallet so you know it's whatever trips your trigger whatever you like whatever you like to do and bikers like to be different you know though they think they are anyway uh, so you know you could do you can come up with some pretty good ideas if you want to on a biker chain I've never had my wallet fall out of my pocket or even come close to. I guess I, you know, always wear the uh, uh, Wrangler jeans that have a deep enough pocket, and once I slide my wallet in there, it's pretty much stuck in there. Uh, I could see how some people, though, depending on what style of, of trousers or jean they may wear, might have a problem with their wallet slipping out of there. If you have a chain on there, though, and you do, it's not going too far. I have pulled my wallet out of my pocket a couple times and fumbled it and it fell and, and swung on my chain so I just pulled the chain I don't have to bend over to pick it up so I guess that's another perk to having the biker wallet chain so there you go guys uh, 
pretty cut and dried simple nothing nothing really to it whether or not I'll ever use my chain to whoop somebody's butt I doubt that'll ever happen but if it ever comes down to it I'm all I've always got something on me that will work other than my little Leatherman tool blade ah <laughs> uh, nah you know I'm not a brawler, never was, and uh, I wouldn't look forward to a situation where I'd ever have to do that, unless it was a uh, survival situation, you know. So there you go, I think I'm going to uh, get going again and uh, continue on with my little ride today. Nice talking with you, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll... Uh, keep you posted with plenty of other videos not all my videos are biker videos because hey there's more to life than just riding all the time and I'm doing two videos a week that's a lot of videos uh, I'd be hard-pressed to do a video twice a week on on biker stuff all the time so I throw a little bit of extra other things in there too of just you know everything I do so that's all I got for today cats until next time ride hard and die free